Glad to have you back with us as we get into the final couple of the weeks of the year 2018, which has really flown by, by the way. It's time to get together with family and friends and part of our extended family. Here's Morgan Hill. Morning, sir. Good morning, Chip. Good to see you. Getting to the end of, uh, and of course, Morgan is um, the big dog behind uh, Hill and Hill Financial. Um, get togethers, family, little company, big, doesn't matter. A lot yeah. of folks are, are keeping their eye on the end of the year yeah. as far as charitable donations are concerned. What's the best way and the smart way to do that to where it benefits their charity of choice and also helps them out tax-wise? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that a lot of folks are now really getting keen to has actually been around for a few years and it's called a Qualified Charitable Distribution, mm -hmm. a QCD. It's been around for a few years, but this right. new uh, uh, tax code change really got people excited. And what it means is, is you can actually take these pesky required minimum distributions mm -hmm. and you can give them straight into the charity of your choice your church your synagogue your civic organization and again you don't get that charitable deduction but you don't have to report that now as perhaps ordinary income so we've been seeing a lot of folks across the country go boy we'd like to give to charity so it, you're doing good and also helping mm -hmm. yourself from a tax standpoint can you give me a real life example of that i mean let's say Somebody has a thousand dollars. They're going to donate for a charitable organization. Yeah, Take absolutely. Take that thousand and, and work work it through the yeah, process. Yeah, literally, we've had just countless number of clients, Chip, where they let's say they have an <clears throat> an IRA, an mm -hmm. individual retirement account, right? And they say, boy, I'd like to give this money straight to my charity. Normally they would have to take that money and claim it as ordinary income as part of that distribution mm -hmm. after they turn 70 and a half. And so what they do is they just connect with their charitable organization and we help them connect with, you know, the custodian, the, the TD Ameritrades of right. the world. And then we literally just create a path between letters and forms that says it's going to go straight from that institution mm -hmm. to the charitable institution, never becomes a reportable income event for the client. And they've done well and also helped their, uh, overall tax strategy and perhaps income tax strategy for the year. And you do all the work, basically. Yeah, absolutely. The charity benefits and so does the donor. Absolutely. And so uh, mm -hmm. it helps on all fronts, we think. Has the charitable, li <clears throat> uh, the charitable donation cap been increased, decreased? Um, are things different yeah. in that respect? You know, um, what we've discovered, this is just our vantage point, we work with probably close to 800 families now mm -hmm. in about 15 states. Tennessee and North Georgia is right our core, that's where we, we operate. Right. But people who are giving of their nature mm -hmm. are giving, period. Right. We haven't seen that because I can't deduct it, I'm not going to give anymore. Sure. Um, it certainly has helped people get a little bit more creative perhaps with the process, but we found that people that feel a charitable um, bias that mm -hmm. they, they keep doing even though some of the tax rules don't necessarily give them the best advantage now but they still want to uh, really do well by the people that uh, they want to charitably give to. Has the mileage reimbursement changed? If you're driving for your charity, making deliveries, yeah. picking things up, uh, situations like that, has that changed or? Um, we haven't seen a whole lot of change in that regard, but mm -hmm. boy, every, um, as I have offices in multiple states and I get to different spots, um, you know, it's always good to have that little extra bump up and right. make sure that that money comes flowing back to the home mm -hmm. rather than sure. uh, kind of dissipates. So. You can find out a lot more about the great work they do uh, and you can get this book. It's called Building a Better Retirement written by this gentleman here and uh, it gives you a lot of tips, a lot of insider information, you things bet. that you may already know but you read it in black and white in plain language and it, it sparks yeah, off the light bulb. Yeah and given that we, as we were talking I'm uh, coming up on 59 this January. Right. And so I like to make the print a little bit bigger and the margins a little bit wider if you <laughs> get my drift. And you can um, make notes in the margins. And margin. you can make That's notes in the margins, absolutely. And you're going to let us give away a copy of this to the first 10 callers? Absolutely. Wow. We've got folks in our offices standing by and the number on the screen, 800-887-9647. Call, get your complimentary copy for yourself, maybe a member of your family. That's and incredible. And then as always, Chip, we love helping people get to and through retirement successfully. So let us know how we can help. The website, Hill & Hill Financial, but you you have to call their office to get this book. Uh, Morgan, thank you so much. Always Hope you a, have a merry, merry Christmas. You bet. Always a pleasure. Let's check in with the holiday queen herself.